Hey now. Hey now. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of IoT Nuggets with BHIoT Group. I'm Doug Cohen from M10 Social. I am joined, but well, and there it is up there, BHIOTGroup.com. And I am joined, as usual, with my co-host across the other side of the screen, the illustrious Mr. Steve Brummer. I'm still here. Haven't been fired. It's unbelievable. He's the man. <laughs> and while we're at it, we're also joined by another uh, esteemed guest, Mr. Alex Brickner. Hey, everyone. How you doing, Alex? Do not say hey now, okay? Or oh, damn. Don't do that, Alex. Don't Hello. let him go. <laughs> Um, Alex joins us from Simple Sense, and he is the co-founder and chief product officer of Simple Sense. So we're going to get into it a little bit and talk about the offering that uh, that they are doing, which is really amazing. And in the meantime, just so you know, you can go to bhiotgroup.com to reach out and connect with Steve Brummer, John Hubler, and the rest of the team at BHIOT Group to talk about your IoT strategy and potential deployment, how to bring it to market. And you can also reach Simple Sense at simplesense.io. And this is weird because somehow some music just started playing on my iPhone. So if you heard that, that was not meant to be background music. Yeah. But it's okay. We move and we forge ahead here on IoT Nuggets. So Simple Sense is doing- Your professionalism is incredible here on this. <laughs> It really is. I always say the more professional it is, the bore, the more boring it can be. So you're getting the whole enchilada, warts and all. Yeah. And um, Simple Sense is doing some amazing stuff with uh, an IoT offering that shares emergency data with first responders. Really important, leading edge stuff. And I'm going to pass it on to Steve and Alex to talk a little bit more about it. Excellent. Thank you very much, Doug. Thank you. Alex, pleasure to have you on the uh, podcast. It's really fun to be able to talk to you about what you guys are providing. So give the audience a quick elevator pitch on Simple Sense, who your clients are, and what you're trying to accomplish. What's the value add? Sure. Um, it's a really good question. Uh, the problem that we're solving is that uh, oftentimes when incidents unfold, there's a lack of coordination between a security operations center on a corporate campus or military installation and responding first responders. Um, they rely on phone calls and texts. And what we found is that by providing a digital interface between the computer aided dispatch system and some of the software used in the security operations center, we're able to improve emergency response and reduce uh, response times by uh, up to three minutes. And so who is buying your stuff? So it's typically the property owner. So it's the person that has the risk of the building and the people in the building. Uh, and they really have a vested interest in buying a service to make sure that uh, the people that they're, they're servicing have the highest safety and security. Is there an ROI on what you provide for them? So are, you know, did they see, is it a tangible or intangible ROI? Sure. Uh, well, ROI and security is always really tricky. Um, I mean, if you talk to anyone in, in the, the security industry, you'll get a thousand different answers um, from different perspectives. Um, there definitely is an insurance impact if we can show reduced response times because um, I think your odds of a successful outcome improve by about 10% for every minute saved. So if we can demonstrate um, consistently that three minute response time savings, um, there likely is an insurance benefit to these property owners. And what's some of the biggest challenges and hurdles that you're having to deal with on a day in, day out basis, dealing with government organizations, Air Force, military installations and campuses and corporate campuses? Sure. Well, um, all these people collaboratively work together um, intentionally or unintentionally on emergency response, but they most of the time don't speak to each other on a day to day basis and they speak a different language. So we have to translate that problem set into military enterprise and public safety um, and then convey that value proposition in a way that fits within their their framework. Um, and so, so go ahead. So are you are you. So is the military buying your your offering or is yes. it the cities or the economic development groups who, who's who's paying you? So the, the person paying us is the um, 
security and safety teams on military installations. Uh, it's what's called the Mission Support Group on Air Force installations. Uh, so they are the ones that operate the security operations centers. And from an IoT perspective, what's the, how does that fit into what you're doing? Well, some of our next phases of, of development involve integrating that 911 emergency response data with other information um, that exists on the campus that's collected from IoT sensors. So for instance, you could take a building information management system occupancy sensor and combine that with 911 data um, to say, hey, if there is an emergency unfolding near one of my buildings, uh, maybe no one's in that building or maybe there's a lot of people in that building and that would change the nature of the response. And does that also include like, you know, sensors in parking garages and parking areas Absolutely. and fence lines at, at the fence facilities and things like that that are integrated? Because I assume that if someone is trying to enter the Air Force Base through a fence line, that's got to get back to the system and in 911 imagine, uh, emergency stuff, correct? Exactly. So right, right now, most of the um, intrusion detection systems are reporting to a console interface that looks very, very much like a 1980s uh, war game type application. So uh, we're able to take that data, um, stick it in an interface that lets operators perform more analysis on the incident as it's unfolding. So it's no longer just a, a single alert, but they're able to slice and dice different data from different elements to uh, react better as the incident is unfolding. And it sounds like Simple Sense is working not only on the enterprise side, but on the government side of, of life. So uh, functionally, it would be the same thing for a corporate campus? Yeah, I mean, I, it would be. Um, most corporate campuses have some kind of security service with some monitoring and operations center. Um, so we could work with that enterprise to bring um, uh, non-traditional data elements to that security operator so that they can uh, potentially respond better and faster. Excellent. So in conclusion, Alex, simple sense is what? What's your value add or value proposition? So we are an integrator of emergency data between uh, protection centers and uh, first responders and municipalities and uh, the military. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Alex, for joining us. I've been waiting to try and get you on this on these podcasts for a while. So thank you very much for joining us. It was a pleasure having you. Great pleasure information. to be here. Thank you so much. All right, Doug, back to you, bud. Well, thank you very much, Steve and Alex. Great stuff. I, I love the opportunity to hear kind of behind the scenes from the people that are making things happen that make the world a safer place. And yeah. that's really cool to hear that type of, you know, deployment happening that actually saves people and helps people respond to things that happen. You know, it's it's... It's nice to hear that you're making the world a better place. And um, having said that, uh, anybody who's tuning in, we appreciate you. Thanks for uh, being here on IoT Nuggets. Make sure you go to bhiotgroup.com once again to reach out and talk to Steve and John Hubler about your IoT strategy. And if you want to learn more about Simple Sense, go to simplesense.io and you can learn more about their company. Alex, thanks for joining. And to anybody else who's out there who has a company that is making things happen in the IoT space, if you're a subject matter expert and you want to come on the show, we would love to have you as a guest. Reach out, connect with us on LinkedIn, the YouTube channel. And we'll see you next time on the next episode of IoT Nuggets. Excellent. Thanks, Take care. Appreciate it. Have a great day.